Yeah, sure, but uh, one night or? Yeah. Because the checkout is going to be at 11 o'clock. How do you say what? Checkout is going to be at 11. Is he holding so, a vape uh, pen? You can take it for 3 hours, max. It's $50. 50? Yes. And how much is it for a whole day? $70. Don't never trust no person that always got a vape pen in their hand. Ever. If you see somebody and they always got a vape pen in their hand, they're not trustworthy. These are the four criminals right here that set the guy up. Five actually in total. So these two women are the setup women. They bring the guy, lure him to the hotel. Not necessarily lure him. I mean, in some way. But... You know, the guy thinks he's going to get a pay for play or get him for free. However, they got it set up and they got their three actual guys waiting there to rob him. So they're not giving up no box. All right. This guy thinks he's about to go in there and get laid. And instead. He walks into an ambush and is subsequently robbed. I think that's the guy coming in right there. These are the four guys right there, or the three guys. No, four guys there, that's the fourth. And then the two women that set them up. So let's actually go to the story real quick and we'll read it. We'll go to the story and we'll read it real quick. So what you just seen was the footage of it. And then here's the actual. What the hell was that? Stop playing random stuff on my screen. All right. Anyways. The alleged crime happened about 9 a.m. October 17th at a hotel in the 13200 block of East Freeway. Police said a woman named Bree. No, police said the victim met a woman named Bree online and agreed to meet her at the hotel. When the man got to the hotel, he knocked on the door to the room and was greeted by Bree and another woman in the room. So this guy comes in. He's all ready. He's got his... Cheap cologne on his Jordash or his Nautica cologne. <laughs> he thinks he's about to get laid. He ain't touched himself in about two weeks. Usually he masturbates every single day. But today he said, no, 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 no. Now, I'm just creating, I'm just creating a picture. Let's say he's married, right? And his wife ain't giving him no marital sex. So he's like, oh, finally, I'm about to get a release. I can go home happy again. <sighs> Little does he know there's an ambush waiting to happen. So let's see what happens next. He's greeted by Bree and another woman. According to the police, the victim said that Bree told him that he could have her and the other woman for a fee. So now he's like, Shh, whatever. I've been paying my wife. <laughs> I've been paying my wife to live for free with me and do no work. She don't cook. She don't clean. I can't slap her on the butt. I can't do none of that. I'm paying for the house. I'm cleaning the gutters. I'm taking out the trash. I'm killing the creatures and insects. Our homeowners association fee is insane. And I still got to manicure and pedicure our lawn. And every time that we leave the Christmas lights up, a day past... Let's go New Year's. We're getting letters in the mail. They're threatening to fine us. When we have people come over, she always has her family come over. And I got to sit there and host them. And she wants me to dress up and communicate with them, even though I just want to play video games. And they make us get permit, par parking permits for the family to come over and park. And it's just a whole mess. My life is a disaster. Finally, I get this one release. And I'm willing to pay. What do you need? 200, 300, 400? I don't care. I don't care. I'm already in debt because my wife keeps on over leveraging our credit card. And I'm already paying interest on that. What the hell is another $400 at this point? I'm drowning. I just need to get this release. I just want just an hour of a good time just to totally forget about all the stresses in life. I got y'all. So he's good. He thinks everything's about to. But then, hold on, let me highlight this team. 
<laughs> this is what happened to this man. That's when suddenly two armed men suddenly appeared out of the back of the room and began searching the victim. Now he's getting touched by two big, grimy, nasty, filthy, calloused hands. Not like mine. My hands are very soft and uncalloused. <laughs> the suspects took the victim's wallet, cell phone, car keys, and then forced him to undress while the women recorded him. I guess the story works. Because now they're going to use this as ransom against his wife. So not only is he about to lose everything to these people, but then if he goes to the police, which he did anyways, <laughs> the story's going to get out to his wife and then she's going to divorce, grape him for everything he has. <laughs> so he just can't win. This guy can't win. So he gets robbed while being recorded. As this was going on, police said a third man, God, he thought he was getting two guys, which he did. I mean, no, wait, wait. He thought he was getting two women, then he got two guys, and then he got a third guy. Lucky him. He got a third guy. He still paid. As this was going on, a third man, and began to punch him in the face multiple times. The other guy just wanted to just beat somebody up. He's already outnumbered. It's four to one. Two women, four men. You got another guy come in unhinged. And just starts beating you in the face when you're already naked, being recorded, giving up all your possessions. <laughs> this is what happens. Guys, stay away from prostitution. At least at the lower levels. I would say stay away from it at all, like completely. But we're going to talk about the locations of where you want to do these things at. I mean, this guy's at it. We'll get to that in a second. Let's finish the story. During this, the victim said the suspects threatened to go to his house and kill his family if he didn't give them the money. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Team, what is going How do you put yourself in this situation? How do you just wake up one day for your miserable job? After leaving your family that you want to get away from so bad that you're willing to go get a prostitute at a cheap hotel to the point where now you're being robbed and they're threatening to kill the family. You know what? I'd have told them, hey, look, you don't see where I'm at right now. Y'all probably doing me a favor. You got my ID. I didn't give you the address. So if you go over there and take them all out, actually, no, leave the kids. Just take the wife. Hey, the suspect logged into the victim's phone. Jesus Christ. So then he's, na he's naked and they're saying, give me your fingerprint. Give me your face scan. You probably got an iPhone. Um, I'm going to need your iCloud password. I'm going to need your six digit uh, login password. And once the, trans once the transaction was completed, the suspects took the victim's car and forced him to leave on foot. <laughs> oh my God. So then now you gotta call your wife and explain the situation? How do you explain that one? He's probably like Walter in Breaking Bad. <laughs> he probably was like Walter in Breaking Bad. <laughs> he probably had a whole episode. Yo, this is crazy, team. All right, so you know this happens. Uh, the victim's vehicle was found days later. And, um, you know, so we got the description of the suspects, which are never going to be caught. We got all Hispanics. Well, one's white or Hispanic, most likely Hispanic. I think that's the younger dude. The first dude we've seen with the vape pen, this guy. They can't tell if he's Hispanic or white. It is kind of hard to tell. That's the vape pen dude, 17 to 18 years old. And you got all uh, people in their late teens, early 20s that decided to... That one dude is not. He's the leader, and he's probably, like, going on 40. The one dude, where's he at? Oh, we ain't got it no more, whatever. I think we do. No, we don't got it. Whatever. We're not. I'm not going back to that. So, that's the first story. All right, so, team, we got a couple more stories we're going to go through. Then we're going to go through some reviews of uh, – Hotels, I'm going to explain to y'all why you never go to cheap motels under every circumstance, even if you're not trying to get prostitutes. We're going to look at a couple other stories and we're going to get to the main topic or I guess main story 
of the woman that you see below me on either side and how she, I don't know how somebody allowed this woman that's below me right here, right here, right here, this woman, <laughs> somebody allowed her to set them up to get robbed by some ninjas at a cheap motel. And there's one constant thing that we're going to see throughout this. It's the location. The location is crazy. Um, always these motels, sleazy, cheap hotels, never good ones. Um, so let's move on. Let's move on and let's look at another situation. Let's look at this one. We're going to read through it. We're going to read through it real quick. Two women have been charged with robbing and assaulting a man at, uh, I don't even know how to say that word. Fluorescent? Fluorescent? I don't know. Anyways, Imani Reed and Santa McAfee. Did I get that right? I'm bad with pronouncing words sometimes when I have never seen them before. We're charged with... We're charged by the St. Louis Prosecuting Attorney's Office with one count each of first degree assault and first degree robbery. Reed was also charged with one count of armed criminal action. But I almost said it a half a million dollars. Department responded August 1st, 2023. The Red Roof Inn. The Red Roof Inn. <laughs> Guys, this is, we'll get to that in a minute. Officers in Rob were informed of a gunshot victim found in the 1300 block of North Elizabeth Avenue. The victim said he had arrived at the hotel with two women, two women, while he was in the bathroom. Both women grabbed his clothing, cash, and a Gucci bag, and he and left the hotel, according to court documents. He chased the suspects. <laughs> So he's naked right now? Why all these men ended up naked? One guy got stripped down naked. This guy leaves out the hotel naked to try to chase down these people that stole his... Bro, listen to me, man. It's too late. You took the L, bro. For whatever reason, you went in there and I guess he actually got his service, but then he was so comfortable and so disillusioned afterwards, had no post-nut clarity of what the hell he just did but decided to leave all of his belongings and go into the shower with no clothes on, nothing with him. Left everything out there with the women. Two of them at that. Goes into the shower to get cleaned up so he can put his clothes back on and return to his wife. And then what? And then what? They took all of his stuff and immediately got into the car and dipped out. This guy runs out of the hotel room presumably with no clothes on because they said they took his clothing and jumped on the hood of their vehicle. Is this in broad daylight? Did we got the time? We don't got the time. Could have been night, could have been day. Anyways. Okay, jumped on the hood of their vehicle. The victim was, the vehicle was driven in a manner that prevented him from being able to get off the hood. I don't even know what that means. So I guess he's on the car and they're driving and it's going too fast to the point where if he tries to jump off the side, he's going to fly off and get extreme road rash <laughs> because now he's on the hood of a car doing 40 miles an hour with no clothes on. Just how does this even begin to happen? Okay. And, but if he goes off the front of the car, they're going to run him over. During the incident, one of the women shot the man three times, the release said. After the victim was shot, the driver stopped the vehicle. So they shoot you while it's driving, then stop, and then pushed your bloody body off the vehicle. I mean, guys, I got to be graphic because this is what we're dealing with. And it's probably just as graphic when these guys are having sexual relations with these people in the hotel room. I can't imagine that there's anything good about this sex. This is disgusting. All right, anyways. A front desk clerk at the hotel stated that they saw two men running away. Um, the man was wearing underwear and socks. He said that he saw the women enter a vehicle, which the man chased. During the incident, one of the 
Women shot the man three times. After the victim was shot, the driver stopped the vehicle. Okay, I already got that part. He got transferred to the hospital, treated for multiple gunshot wounds. Surveillance footage confirmed what the clerk described. All right, I know we all like visuals. Now, this one's going to be not very good, team. But I'm going to give you a visual of what these two women look like that this man decided to get shot three times over, robbed, and go to the Red Roof Inn. Y'all ready for this? I'm sorry I got to show this to you, but I need to show the realities. It's hard for me to look at, team. Let me collect myself. This is what this man crashed out for. No, this is the same, this is the same story. This is the same story. No, it is. Look, it's right here. It's the same story. It just read better on the other site. They had more details than this one did. Oh, actually, I got more details here. Surveil oh, he was on surveillance too. So he was only wearing underwear and socks. Yeah, he was only wearing, so he had underwear and socks on, so he wasn't completely naked. He had his underwear and socks, probably tidy whities you know what I mean? Not even like boxer shorts or like some Nike, uh, some Nike compression shorts, none of that. Anyways, these are the two women. What happened to standards, man? You really paying for sex from two women that look like this? I mean, borderline. Borderline. I'm not even sure exactly what gender this is. You know, with clothes off. Now, do you see the neck tattoo right here? Whole neck is tattooed up. This is a woman that got her whole neck tattooed up. Face tattoo above the eyelid. This woman is, are those tattoo tears over there in the corner? What does she got? Let's see, we got, can we, can we play this? Oh, Look at play. these women on your screen here. They are now facing charges after robbing and shooting a man at a Red Roof Inn. 18 and 22. Forced. Police say August 1st, the two women took off with the man's clothes and his possessions. He ran after them and he was shot. Robbing and shooting a man at a Red Roof Inn in Florissant. Police say August 1st, the two women took off with the man's clothes and his possessions. He ran after like, what on earth would possess you to solicit these two for money or allow them to solicit you for money? I mean, people like this can't even get near me. But here's the thing, right? Here's the thing. Look at where he chose to go. This is the perfect place for you to get robbed and set up. Anytime that you go to a motel, usually always a motel that looks like this, or a hotel where when you walk out of the room, you immediately walk onto the concrete in the street. When you have somebody's vehicle two feet away from your door, like, look at where that van's parked at right there. So that van could be five spaces over, right? That van could literally drive exactly. <laughs> like, there's so much crime and mischief going on at these types of places. A drunk person could be in a van like that and drive right into your room while you're sleeping and just kill you. We just had the video, you wanna go back, Google, search my videos and type in Popeyes, or I forgot what I put. It's probably like 12 videos back now, where a woman drove her BMW directly through a Popeyes restaurant. If there were people sitting there eating their chicken, they would have been finished. It was a whole fun video, check it out. It's a really good video, actually. By, your, by yours truly. But besides that, Anytime that you walk out of your hotel room and you walk right onto the city streets, you have to be careful. You don't be, don't go there. I'm going to just leave it at that. We're going to talk about it a little more at the end of the video. Now, we're going to look into one more story before we get into the main part of the story. And we're going to do that now. <sighs> Here we go again. Woman known as Baby helps... Set up man for robbery at a hotel along Gulf Freeway, police say. Houston Police Department Division needs the public's help in tracking down a man, in tracking down a woman who set up a man to be robbed by two suspects 
at a hotel along Golf Freeway. Footage of the trio was captured on video and released by police. Released by police. Released by... A man told investigators that on July 14th, around 10.30 p.m., so this is that night, he picked up a woman he only knows as Baby near Ritchie Road in Pasadena. You just picked up a random woman, dog. You only knew her as Baby. And then, what? Let's keep reading. We got video, too. We'll look at that in a second. Is this... Oh, this is a different video. Okay, we're not. We're going to look at this video right here. We're going to look at this one. We'll get to it in a second. Let's finish reading real quick. Uh, once they arrived, Baby told him that she needed to get towels before going into their room. The man went inside alone and heard a knock at the door. When he opened it, two men rushed inside and began hitting him in the face with a blunt object, police said. The suspects then allegedly tied the man up and put him in the bathroom. Let's watch the video. No sound on the video. Okay, so this looks like... Okay, this is the suspect. Why is he walking like that? That's the woman. That's baby right there. Okay. These are the two... So these are the three suspects. The two guys and a woman. So I think what's happening here, I'm just going to pause it real quick to set the scene. So we just read it. So the guy's already in the hotel room, okay? She comes back out to get these two criminals, robbers, and grabs the tail, or the tail, grabs the towel to go head back to the room, which she said she was getting because she needed to get a towel. So he's in the room right now. He's in there, you know, getting ready to be pleasured by this woman. But instead, he's going to get a knock at the door and have two grown, grimy, disgusting men with a, a just a terrible walk. I don't know what, why he's, maybe he's got like, uh, oh, they did say, um, we'll get to it. So in this, actually, I think he's got a weapon on him, like a bat or something like that. And that's why he's walking like that. But I'm still not sure. He might have got shot recently. Who knows? Imagine you about to get some tail from this woman and then you got these two run up on you. Wow. Okay, so yeah, so she comes to the room. Look at her fixing it. Wait, that's it? Oh, why didn't get hold on. All right, we're gonna stop her real quick. Stop right here. So she comes to the door. These two are right outside of frame. So usually she's gonna she shows herself. So he looks out the peephole. Oh, that's my, that's my mama seat though. I'm about to get it off. And as soon as he opens the door, she steps to the side and he's greeted by these two. Now, what happens, right? I think we got a little more to the story. Yeah, we do right here. So what happens is, uh, oh, wait, what? Okay, I didn't finish reading. Yeah, yeah. So. He heard a knock at the door. When he opened it, two men rushed inside and began hitting him in the face with the blunt object. Okay, yeah, yeah. Tied him up, put him in the back. Oh, I missed the blunt object, yeah. So they had like a bat or a pipe or a pole or a hammer or whatever, and they hit him in his face with it. Like now you're scarred for life. Now you got a big hole in your face or a gash on your forehead, a scar that's never going to go away. Your teeth are gone. Your lips split down the middle. Your nose is broke. All for what? Listen, the truth is, is that most chaos and carnage is usually going to be surrounded by a woman. Now, women can bring peace and joy and bliss also, <laughs> but the opposite is just as bad and usually more common. Now, the victim was eventually able to untie herself and realized that the suspects had taken his wallet, keys and cell phone. He then looked outside and noticed that the suspects had stolen his pickup truck, police said. The truck was later located, unoccupied 10 days later. Baby is described as five foot six inches. Thin build, long hair. I mean, we've seen what she looked like. Glasses. The other two males, they got no, they're only offering $5,000 to find these people and they will not be found. And 
I don't really know what to say about this team. Like, these are two. This is going to lead up going into this last story, okay? This is the main story, and this is this woman right here below me on either side. Woman sets up man at a sleazy hotel. You've seen the thumbnail. You know what's going on. This is where we're going to come down to now, okay? So, let's see what we got here. Caught on camera, video shows two men robbed at gunpoint at a hotel in Northeast Memphis. Police tell us this happened just after 9 Saturday night. And tonight, <laughs> police are still searching for the three men involved. Fox 13 Sierra Jordan breaks down the armed robbery. She has the latest information. Two young men came here to Hotel Lee for a party. Hotel Lee. that party turned into a robbery after they were held at gunpoint and it was all caught on camera. Dude, I couldn't even imagine nothing like this. That's why I don't go to hotels, baby. I got my house. Take a look at the security video. Police say three women invited Hotels aren't two the problem. men into a room for a party at Hotel Elite on Summer Avenue. That's not a you hotel. see the group walking inside the hotel room. Then three armed men come in and police say threaten to kill other men. Seconds later, one of the women starts recording the men getting bombed. Look at the evilness. That's why I made this as the, the premier photo of this woman. Just look at the evilness in this woman's eyes. As she records this carnage, she loves it. She's hoping that somebody gets their brains blown out right in front of her on camera so she can upload it to Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, Live Leak. Is Live Leak still even a thing? Live Leak is where they used to show all the, you know, explicit videos as far as like people losing their lives and stuff. Um, nothing wrong with the website, I guess, technically, but the stuff you would see on there would, it could give you nightmares. Anyways, just look at this. And this is what these dudes decided to crash out for. This woman right here. Like, guys, you got to have better standards. Y'all have got to stop messing with these types of women, man. You're encouraging this nonsense. And I blame the guy just as much as the woman in any, in any situation. You should never, ever put yourself in this situation. Even when I was young and thirsty at different points in my life, I never, ever stooped down to a level of this. People, they should not, you know, use guns. iPhones, Apple Watches, and shoes were stolen from both victims. You can't walk around being safe. Like, you have to have a gun. Mm -hmm. And if they see you without it, they look at you like a target. We went to the hotel's management office for answers on their security policy. We spoke to the manager on the phone. I was off. It was on Saturday. You would have to speak with my boss about that, not me. We spoke to a woman staying at the hotel no accountability. about her concerns with security. Nobody knows what She happened. did not want to be on camera to protect her identity. They have security here at night, though, but that's the thing. I don't, like, half the time they're here, half the time they're not. And this gate right there... Hold on real entity. quick. The hell Turns was that with on security. She did not want to be on camera to protect... You know the security schedule? You didn't want to be on camera to protect yourself? That's that's a better description than your face. You can't even remove that, and it's right there on your hand where you're going to wear gloves your whole, the whole time. I know exactly who you are the second I see your hand. Whoever this woman is, we can clearly identify her by the tattoos on her hands. Very easy. You don't want to be identified? We got the bag where you go to shop at right there. And you know the security. You probably... Allegedly, you're probably in on it. Her identity. They have security here at night, though. But that's the thing. I don't like half the time they're here, half the time they're not. And this gate right there mm -hmm. is broken. It's trash. Yeah. We reached out to Memphis police for an update on the robbery. They say so the they have no broken. suspects in custody, but the investigation continues. If you have any information related to what happened here, reach out to Crime Stoppers at 901-528-CASH. In Memphis, Sierra Jordan, Fox 13 News. Caught on camera. <sighs> team. Team, team, team. You know... One of my things is this. When I go to travel, I have a set of standards. And hotels is one of them. You know, you can maybe skimp on a few different things, right? 
you can maybe skimp on a few different things. Um, you know, it could be maybe the vehicle that you drive, right? Maybe you're like, I don't need a premium vehicle. I don't need to be in a Mercedes, I don't know, call it an S-Class, right, as far as the car that I drive. I'll be good in, well, don't get a Kia. Those are just magnets for criminals. But, you know, I could be in a in a Toyota Camry, right, a midsize. I could go with a, with a RAV4. I could go with, you know, something like that, right? That's fine. Maybe when you fly, you're like, I don't need to be in first class. I can go coach. I can fly and coach. I can fly Spirit, which is not very good. But Spirit's actually gotten a little better. Um, the one thing you don't at all under every circumstance when you travel is go cheap on is your location and your lodging. Those two things you don't play around with. You do not stay in terrible areas and you do not stay at cheap motels or hotels. If it's called the the mosey wosey, you stay the hell out of it, right? If it's called uh, the Chinatown Inn, <laughs> you stay out of it, right? If it's called the India Inn, if it's called the Elite Hotel, the one we just seen, any fancy names like that, you know, places you want to stay, you could say anything that has Hilton in it is usually going to be okay. Marriott, Hyatt, the Wyndham, right? You think about Vegas, you think about the Bellagio, the Aria, MGM Grand in some circumstances, the Intercontinental, right? These are all places where when you go there, you're going to have valet. You can even go Embassy Suites, right? They got a pretty good free breakfast. Well, it's not free. It's probably bundled into your room cost. But anyways, they cook breakfast for you, actually. You can get omelets and stuff. I don't eat there because I don't eat the stuff they cook. But if you're into eating that, then they'll cook you a, a fresh breakfast. More than one, actually. You can go there and get two plates. They'll cook it right in front of you, like when you go to um, some of those trailer park, diner car type places where they cook everything in front of you. You can go there and get that. Um... But then, like, you know, you know a hotel's good when you have valet there. Um, when everything shuts down. Now, I just want to show you real quick before we move on. I just want to show you, where was our first, where was our first video at? I just want to show you one thing that you should look for. This is one thing that you should look for when you're going to one of these hotels, Right. And the reason why is because I'm just waiting for an ad to clear real quick. I think I got like 20 seconds left, so we'll talk a little bit more. But yeah, so you want to have valet there. Even if you don't use it, you just want to know that it's there. You want some type of bellhop, bellboy, bellwoman, I guess could be, where they'll help you um, carry your luggage into the room. People that are there to greet you. Everybody wears a suit. They have a, they have a, a work attire that is mandatory to work there where you have to come in in slacks a suit and a tie right you have to present yourself as clean um you know the last time i went to vegas i stayed at the trump international beautiful hotel very safe very clean it was the whole building is gold so if you go if you go to vegas or you can even just google it google trump international hotel Beautiful hotel. I stayed in the penthouse. I actually got videos of it. Well, I don't have them prepared right now, but if you're on my Snapchat, well, anyways, they wouldn't be up anymore now, but I ain't never prepared to show y'all. That wasn't the way I was trying to go. Anyways, when you get there, right, when you get to the Trump International, you're greeted by people in suits. Everybody's clean. There's car service. There's people there to guide you and tell you where to go. You walk off to the right. They got the, a hotel bar with uh, glassware, very clean, expensive drinks. They got uh, the Trump International store there, or you know, the Trump store where they sell all this Make America Great Again stuff. I don't like his gear, I would never buy it. However, it's there if you wanna buy it. But my main thing is this. So to get to your room, you have to access an elevator. All the rooms are at least one floor above the, the level entrance and up. So there's, like three or four elevators. Now the elevator I had to get on 
is actually an express elevator because I was on like the 72nd floor. I think it goes up to like 80 something floors. I was on like the 72nd floor and all the penthouses started like floor 60. So all the nicer rooms started floor 60 and up. All the other rooms start at floor 59 and down. And those are still great rooms, amazing rooms, but they're just like normal rooms, right? So to get to your room, you have to go to, you have to pass the security guard that's always sitting there 24 hours a day. And you have to give him your key card and scan it to make sure that your key card is active and you are an active resident in the hotel. You cannot get to any room without passing security. You can't. Under any circumstance, you're not getting into that room without passing security. Okay? Now, if these people that want to buy escorts, if they went to a hotel like that, they could not be robbed. Why? Because the only way that a woman's getting up to your room is if you escort her there with you. So the second that you and the woman are walking to your room, and you walk up to the room with her, cool. You give him the key card, guy waves you in. Not to mention there's cameras and surveillance everywhere, right? Now, the robbers try to come in and follow you up to the room. What you think is gonna happen? They're gonna follow you to the room, they're gonna get there, and they're gonna say, we can't let you pass this point. Oh, I'm just up there meeting my friend. Nope, absolutely. He's gonna have to come down and get you, or she's gonna have to come down and get you. That's the only way we're gonna allow you to go up to any of these rooms. And when you get on the elevator, you're also gonna have to show a key card to access the elevator to even lift you up to your room, all right? I miss that hotel. I had an amazing jacuzzi in there, amazing view. I seen the whole sphere, sphere you know, that big ball that's a TV, whatever. I seen it right there. I looked at the whole strip. The whole strip is literally centered in front of me. Um, you know, maybe I'll go on the community tab and show some of the pictures I had, but that's only if y'all ask. Anyways, so these are some of the things you can avoid. Now, to go back real quick before we finish this up, you see how this looks? Not right there. Look at how the people in the hotel itself are protected. This is like a hood corner store. They're literally behind bulletproof glass. You can't even access the people working there. Even they know that they're in a war zone. They're behind bulletproof plexiglass. The only way that you can make, you can't make contact with them. You have to slide your ID and credit card and cash through a little slot right there just to get your payment in. Does this look like somewhere where you want to be? Where the people that work there are literally in a bunker, you can't even add, you got to go through two security doors just to get in. You got to go through one security door, get there. That one has to seal behind you before you can get in the other door just to get to the back of the hotel. They already know what they're dealing with. This should immediately tell you this ain't a place I want to stay. But no, that's where you think you're going to go and you're paying for women. So listen, team. If you see any of this here at a hotel that you're going to, walk away. I don't care if you already paid on Expedia or Priceline or whatever, Kayak, whatever you're using. Just take the loss and get a better hotel, all right? And I named a few already as far as like Hilton's and Marriott's and stuff. But don't skip out on hotels. Now, we're going to go through one last thing that I'm going to help you guys with as far as when you get hotels. And that is looking at reviews. And I think I got them right here. I got them pulled up already. So this is actually the Elite Hotel. I think this is the one that we were just looking at. The one where the, uh, that woman was recording, waiting for somebody to get uh, killed as she recorded on Instagram Live. I think this one is it. Let me see, is this it? Oh, let me make sure. Decentralized Attica, Athens. Oh, let me see. Oh, locations right here. Let me look. I think I had it up. Oh, this is somewhere else. Hold on. This is the Elite Hotel. Oh, this is in Greece. Hold on. All right, hold on real quick. 
You know what? We're going to skip that. I got two other ones we can look at. These are all the same types of hotels anyways. The one in Greece is bad, too. All right, anyways, Super 8 is going to be the same type of situation, right? So I want you, anytime you get ready to book a hotel, always look at the reviews, all right? And I don't know how there's always these reviews, but there's still more like recent reviews because we're actually going to look not at most helpful, which we can look at a few of these real quick because this is only three weeks ago. I was going to go to um, actually most recent just to show that people continuously go to these places and have terrible experiences and learn the hard way. There's a sucker born every day. But team, we're not going to be a sucker in the first place because we are going to make sure we avoid these things to begin with. So make sure you save up a little more money and stop trying to go cheap on hotels. Now, walked into a room, was not clean at all. It stunk like a urinal. The place needs a lot of work. Smelt like weed. The pool was wrecked. Just needed a spot to crash. Didn't expect this. Yeah, you just need a spot to crash. It's never worth it. Sleep in your car. If you don't got the money, just sleep in your car. It's safer that way, trust me. Go to a nice area of the, of the town, away from you know, heavily urban areas where there's a lot of crime and, and find a parking lot and just sleep there. I mean, your back might not uh, like it, but trust me, you'll still be alive and not robbed. Car window got smashed along with the other cars, according to some other guests. This is a fairly common occurrence. Strong smell of body odor on sheets. Breakfast was great. Yeah, until a roach crawls out your cereal. Place was definitely old, but somewhat clean inside. Not so much around the property. Room was mostly clean. They didn't bother to sweep behind the door in the bathroom. Uh, you know, we'll go on and on as far as Guess, get what you pay for. Let's look at some of the pictures. I mean, this is this is what they expect you to sleep at. Look at this. They can't even fix the molding on the walls. This is my thing, though. Actually, I'll get to that in a second. Let's look at uh, this is in Tennessee. Oh, not that one. This is in Tennessee. This is in Tennessee. This is a Motel 6 in Tennessee. Actually, not far from the Elite Hotel where we just had that last story at. Would give, it a zest, would give it a zero if I could. The staff is rude. The rooms were nasty. I was there because uh, the other property didn't have any hot water. I had to pay an extra 25 for the room. At 3 a.m., I was awakened by loud music, called the front desk, man, answered the phone, hung up my face. Yeah, the dude at the front desk ain't about to go approach the room and tell him to turn down their music so they can make him a victim. He already knows better. The dude at the front desk is behind bulletproof glass. He's sealed off, isolated from all outside threats. And you're out there and you got no protection. <laughs> like they can literally just kick your door off the hinges because the street is right outside your door. You walk outside into crime. Now... We got a couple. We got some people saying it was good. Um, great overnight stay. Pet policy. Y'all travel with your pets? Oh, my God. I booked a room Friday night to Monday morning for a family, for a family that was in need. You put a family in a Motel 6. Saturday around noon, the toilet started to leak, causing the water to flood. You know what? I'm done, team. I'm done. Towels were dirty. There was actually some other ones I was gonna look at, but I'm just i gonna, gonna skip it because it's just too nasty as far as like roaches and different things like that. But I think we get the, the idea. So uh, we're gonna go dark for this. We're gonna go dark, undirected perspective. You know, what's my perspective on all this team? 
my perspective is this. We actually covered a lot of different things. The main topic was uh, getting set up at hotels, trying to um, solicit women. Look, guys, you know, any woman, it's, it's, it's tough to say, like, actually, um, you get what you pay for, right? So you're trying to get a $40 holla, you know what I mean? You're trying to get a woman for $25 and take her to the, the I ain't even going to say Holiday Inn. <laughs> you're trying to take her to the Red Roof Inn, you know, and get a room for a couple of hours for 40 bucks. I just need a room for three hours for $40 and the guest services behind bulletproof glass. I mean, you have a high chance that something bad is going to happen to you. And even at that, you're going to come out STIs, uncurable diseases, you know, herpes, HSV 1 and 2, mouth down there. You know, bad things are going to happen to you. Do not put yourself in these situations. All these people that got robbed, I don't feel sorry for them because they're all self-inflicted wounds. And they were thinking with the wrong head. And because of that, they ended up meeting the worst possible outcome that could have happened to them. And I didn't even get into the ones that lost their lives because of these situations. Because I usually don't talk about people losing their lives or cover stories like that for many reasons. But, you know, one guy got filled up with holes three holes in his chest by those two disgusting creatures that he, I mean, where are your standards at? So, look, um, a lot of this is just for us to make sure that we keep ourselves out of these situations to begin with. Prevention is the best method, okay? Just never even allowing yourself to be in these situations. But, the truth is, this is going to be victims. I mean, as I'm doing this video right now, somebody's putting in themselves in a position to be shot by three women with tattoos all over their face. Women that don't take care of themselves, but you think they're going to take care of you sexually. So that's all I got for this one, team. It is insane, but there's one thing that I do appreciate, and that is you. I appreciate y'all, team. I really do. So let's give y'all an applause before we get out of here. Yeah. And we're going to leave it at that. Goodbye. I'm out of here. Dot sell all the way out. I'm going on a vacation soon, actually. Vacation trip, whatever you want to call it. And um, the first thing I do is I extensively look at location i'm on google maps i'm walking down the streets on google maps i'm looking oh yeah, foreclosed home right there a block away no i'm not staying there <laughs> you know i'm looking at all the reviews i see one bad review and i'm not going there one bad review i'm not going there you gotta have three stars and up if you got a one star i'm not going to your hotel i'm not ever period Reviews matter, y'all. Always leave a review at the hotel. I do.